You went. <laughs> this video came about because we needed an image for a video we just did. We decided to set the camera up, film for a minute, then later grab a decent screenshot. Well, it later ended up in a debate about Zamo from Grange Hill, who later settled the matter for us. Enjoy. Fire. Gonna be at a slight angle. That would be straight, that would be thanks, thanks for saving me a seat, mate. Where's your seat? How can I get in there? You're shorter than me, there's oh, no way I was getting not. in there. Something happens to us and that honest fan, this is gonna look very gay. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'd just like to say I wasn't willing. No, and uh I did say no. Because uh, we used to watch Grain Gel. I think I must have missed this episode. I didn't. Mm. It's a short one, it died. <laughs> but this is where you put the spin on it and it's the bald one. Um, no. Because it always happens to the bad villains, like the bald villains. Doesn't they usually win? No, 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 it's the bald one. Dr. No. Dr. No died. He got blew up. What happened first, though? He was rich. He was rich, he famous, he famous. He lived a life of luxury and bliss. Yeah. And then went out in a bank. Yeah. Blaze of glory and was noted in history. For the rest of eternity, make films of him. I don't honestly see that as a bad way. No. So no. the bald man's prevailed. Yeah. Eric Morkham, he was sharp. Yeah. And they've made a statue of him. Morkham, he's doing that. But in Morkham, who, who a that? statue in Morkham. Is that? I know, is that? I know. I know. Is that your idea of making it? That's when Maybe you, you know can get one it. next to Andy Kerr. Well, that's when you Newcastle. Who <laughs> 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 was it in the end? It, it was, was Andy Kerr. <laughs> it wasn't the monkey. It wasn't the monkey. It was Andy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's still stupid, that, isn't it? <laughs> Getting dirt. What was he called from Grain Jill when he died? Zamo. He dead. He only took drugs. In Granger, he died, didn't it? Not in real life. No, I understand how Granger works. You tell me. <laughs> I'm being <laughs> wrong. <laughs> uh... It's like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a shot. Brian <laughs> 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 tools like. No, so what happened to Zamo then in Granger? I'm not sure. I kind of lost interest by that point, to be honest. It had yeah. gone a bit, you know, just saying, no, oh, no, this one, it's like, I don't want a political message in my tea time entertainment. No. No. Something I feel I need to explain before the next clip is when me and Scott are out there and we're filming and one of us is going on about a story or some anecdotal experience we've had where we're um, rather passionate about it. It's a really good story. What we tend to do is switch the recorder off, which is really annoying and frustrating because especially when you see the other person getting really passionate and in-depth and, and, and really emotional and giving it all out to the camera, we just click the off button and it's just hilarious. It's a really rotten thing to, to do and uh, it's just hilarious and it'll just keep happening. But uh, enjoy. I made a, a, a... I didn't make money, but I... Uh... Got broken in debt. <laughs> I benefited from what? What was the 
fat gingerbread guy called in Grain Jill? Chunks. No. Oh. Fat soul. Slobolopolis. <laughs> no, what was his name? Ginjo. Can't remember now, but Eat anyway. All. Oh, fat soul. When I went to Magaluf, they thought I was him, even though it was 20 years after he'd been the sort of age I would have been then. And uh, got free drinks and they put on the bar. First night we went there, we just got loads of free drinks, table. <laughs> you went <laughs> <laughs> you were well in town, look at this. <laughs> you couldn't write this shit, could you? No. Your, be your best line in your coat down there. Well, you <laughs> I got that. <laughs> this is another fine mess you've got me into. <laughs> Nothing to see there. <laughs> so, what do you think happened to Zamo? I've no idea. You keep asking so, me. I'm asking you because it's a serious point. <clears throat> I can't remember. Well, well, neither can I, so it's two of us. Should we just ask Zamo? How? Oh. It is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Get the spirit box off. Yeah. The we'll character of Zamo, are you there? A message for Captain Baldy! Captain Baldy, it's Lee MacDonald, Zamo from Grey Joy, and I'm still alive! Yes, your little debate. No, I didn't die during just saying, no, don't listen, don't listen to it. Yeah, it was pants the first time around, it definitely crap that time around, but no, the character didn't die. He was initially going to, but the audience were far too young, so they decided for him to live on. Um, and here I am with all my hair, or most of it, not like Baldy there, but uh, I'm sure I'll catch up with you. Anyway, best wishes from Still Alive and Kicking, Lee McDonald. Zamo!